Welcome to Mastering Solutions. So let's start off and draw a horizontal line and have a picture of what's going on here. So if we have here, this is Kira, she is standing at 28 meters. Now I like to just think of this as a coordinate grid. So here we have zero and then up here we have 28 in the positive direction. And if we go this way along zero, obviously it's the negative direction. So Kira go, undergoes a displacement of 43 meters, meaning she went from this direction, 43 meters that way. But obviously uh, they say, what is her final position? We're not just gonna say, well, she's 43 meters this way because we started out on 28. So if we take 43 and minus 28 from it, we get 15. So down here, we're going to be at 15, but since we passed the zero point, obviously we're not gonna be at positive 15, we're going to be at negative 15. Another way to think of this problem is the delta x equation or the displacement equation. So delta x, anything delta, of course, is final minus initial. So we have x final minus x initial. So what we're looking for is the x final. We know the delta x, is 43 meters and we know that they started on the 28 meter line. So if we rearrange this equation by adding x initial, that goes away, and then we're left with x final equals delta x plus x initial. Now you have to be careful here, and I like the number line analogy for this because it helps so that we don't get confused here. Because x final, is equal to a delta x, but they're going in the negative direction. So this is actually a negative 43 meters plus the x initial, which is a positive 28 meters. So x final is equal to a negative 15 meters, just like we found up here.